Hey YouTube, um, I'm kind of tired. I haven't been asleep yet, so forgive me. Um, I'm actually giving an update about my ultrasound that I had yesterday. Um, and I have the pictures. You know they do not print them out no more. They put them on the disc, which is very, very good. So I do have my pictures here. I printed, let me find a good one that you can actually see my little bean. Um, here's my picture. That's my little bean right there. And from the size of the bean, from the size of it, she says I look like I'm about six weeks. So I don't know if I'm six weeks or I don't know if I'm seven weeks. So I'm not too sure. The last time I said that they gave me a due date of October 24th, but now she's giving me a due date of October 30th. Um... But the actual mach get get out the actual um sonogram machine said you know that my due date was October twenty third which is what my iPod said so I got basically like three due dates and um and I don't know which one to go by but I'll probably find out on the twenty fourth when I go for my last doctor's exam um. But, okay, so let me tell you what happened. So I was laying there on the table, and I don't know. I think I was just out of it. We were talking. Next thing I know, I hear, and I'm like, oh, my God, what is that? Am I peeing? Because I had to pee really, really, really bad. And last time, I peed on the table a little bit because she was pressing against my bladder with the little inserty thing. And she's like, no, sweetie, that's the baby's heartbeat. I said, you lie. She's like, no, look. So she turned the screen and showed me the little baby. This is the prob this is the first picture that I did see. And then she was like, Do you see that little pulsating thing in there? And I'm like, Yeah, she's like, That's the baby heartbeat. Yeah, I punked up. Yeah, I cried because I got caught. I didn't like <laughs> cry. But I did, you know. <laughs> One of those cried. I was caught off guard. Like, I wasn't expecting to hear that so soon. I didn't think, like, I was going to hear that. Anywho, here is the picture where they showed me where the heart is. And basically, that little thing that I have circled where, right there, that's the baby's heart. And it was actually beating 146 beats per minute, which is not bad. She said, everything looks good. As you can see, it says viability on there. So I'm definitely knocked up. Some people are definitely going to be a grandmother. Um, I guess this is a fetal pole, whatever that means. And then, you know, you got the little arrow pointing to where my bean is. Um, yes, the baby has a nickname already. I call it Bean. Her, it, I don't know what it is. I call him Bean. My little green bean. Which I actually gave my friend's baby that name too, but I can't help it. I call my baby a little green bean. She's probably my ex friend now. Anyways, um, but I call it my little bean. And on that note, that is my ultrasound update, you guys. What else to say about it? Nothing much, really. I am officially pregnant. I am a mommy as of right now. Would you stop? Move! I am a mommy as of right now, I guess. You can say I am. Um, other than that, I have some side notes about nosy people. And I'm most, most, mostly saying, like, nosy family members that, like, are asking people, Oh... Is is she pregnant? Why you didn't tell me she was pregnant? I feel as though if you want to know if I'm pregnant or not, ask me. Don't ask somebody else why they didn't tell you that I was pregnant. If you that nosy, ask me. I hate, one of my pet peeves is when somebody can't ask that person directly if you can't ask that person directly then you don't need to know anything if I didn't reach out and say hey whoever your name is this family member over here I'm knocked up 
then obviously you don't mean that much to me for me to reach out and tell you. Um, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be mean. But this is just me and this is how I feel about the whole nosiness. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my mom this morning and she says, you know, I was speaking with so-and-so and they said that you got your pregnancy all on the internet. I only have it on YouTube, on my YouTube videos. So that means somewhere in the woodwork, in the family, somewhere, somebody went back and said that I have my pregnancy online. Why does it matter to you? Like, you either going to congratulate me or have stuff to talk about me. And going back to my mom, like, oh, like my mom don't know. My mom knows. I'm making these videos for her. Sorry, Ma. You know I can't bite my tongue, but I'm being nice about it. I'm making these videos for my mom because we are 32,000 miles away from each other. And there is no way for her to at least know my progress unless I call her on the phone. But it means more for her to see me and be able to see what I'm going through. So that's why I'm making my videos, even though it's dedicated to friends and family. Because I have friends that want to know my progress. I have friends that want you know, to see updates about me, including some of my YouTube subscribers. I have friends and my YouTube friends, subscribers, you know, that want to know about me. So, as for the nosy people, if you got questions, please ask me. You know my email address. If you don't have my phone number, that's for a reason. Email me, Shada at comcast.net, ms dot c-h-a-y-d-a at comcast.net email me and ask me don't please do not ask other people about me because that's how rumors start and I, I don't want to be a part of no rumors in nobody's mouth I don't, I don't want that so if you have any questions again ask me if you want to watch my videos fine watch my videos comment on my videos make a YouTube account and subscribe to my videos but please don't like call somebody else up why you didn't tell me she was pregnant obviously they're not trying to tell you I'm pregnant or it's none of your business take it how you want it other than that um I am sleeping I'm still sleeping like a log I'm still I'm so tired I've been up since last night when I went to work I actually almost I got pulled over again can you believe that that's another video I'm going to make right after this one. But I'm going to tell y'all how I got pulled over for the second time. And I think they, what is it called? Um, profiling me because I think they think I'm a guy when they pull me over. And their whole demeanor up until I roll down my window is just like, I'm ready to pull out my guns and bust a hole in you. Until I pull down my window and they see that I'm a girl. Um, but that's a whole nother video because this is going on 8 minutes and 21 seconds and I hate videos over 6 minutes. So other than that, that is my ultrasound update and my pet peeve slash nosy people informative verbal essay about how to interact with me if you want to know something. Other than that, thanks for watching my videos. I love you, Ma. Hope you watch my video soon. Subscribers, I'm going to start shouting some of y'all out because y'all stay faithful with commenting and telling me, you know, certain things. Um, other than that, stay fly because I know I don't look fly right now.